Hi guys. I want to say something before I say what I have to say. I love my mom. I love my dad. I love my family. But sometimes, many times in my life, I have been told things to believe. You know. And let me tell you something. Life isn't beautiful. It has colors, you know, every type. My mom, I love her so much, and I love my father too. But when you go too far, you go too far. I don't care what anybody says. You know, since I was little, they said I had bipolar. And growing up, I always thought I had it. You know, probably I do. Who knows? But I think everyone's bipolar at one point. You know, we have our ups, our downs. You know, women too, you know. That girl looks at you, you get mad for no reason, you feel me? And, you know, but what pisses me off the most is when you use the things I love against me, like my grandmother. Yesterday, I went to Miami Dade because I had to make sure my transcripts are in, which I had told my mom. It took a year because I told my mom, go to the school and make sure. But I'll go to the school. No, don't go to school. Don't go to the like, Are you kidding me? They just got in. I have to go see if they're wearing because I'm dying to start school. I need to get out of here. The hell in my house. I go. But then I haven't eaten anything and it's already like 3 o'clock over there once I get there. I haven't eaten anything until 3 o'clock. I still haven't eaten anything and it's about to be flat, 6 o'clock. So I'm diabetic, mind you that. So I get on the wrong bus because I'm dizzy and instead of going south, I go north. Ended up like he weren't, so I went to one of my little ones' house, you know. They're great kids. And I didn't eat anything there because I was really happy with them and whatnot. So then I decided to try to go home and I ended up somewhere else. So, you know, I call my mom. Mom, I need you to pick me up. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. Okay, I need a ride, I can't take bus, I feel like, you know, I already came to the wrong bus and shit, twice, so I need you to come get me. Yells at me, screams at me, the usual, you know. Calls my grandma, and my grandma comes and yells at me. Why would you use her against you, me, when you know her blood pressure goes up, and that's the only one I have left? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, I have to find a friend to come pick me up. Good friend of mine, he's a good kid. It's one of the little things. There's another one that she lies about because I've got it. I was raped um, on a Sunday of this month. For years I've been telling her, don't pick up your phone one day and ch turn off your phone. Ignore me. Okay? I'm going to get hurt. Something's gonna happen to me. For many years, I've never told her the shit that happens to me because it's basically her fault most of the time. People are like, oh, maybe it's your fault. No, it's her fault, trust me. They've been dying for me to get a job, okay? She fucks up all my jobs. But, um, she's been, him, her, my dad have been pushing me to get a job. But don't wanna help me with anything. I don't know how to write a resume. Never wrote a resume in my life. You don't want to help me, and Dad doesn't want to help me. Okay, I'll go to my friend's house in Florida City. And uh, she helped me. We finished at 6 o'clock. It's really dark, and the only way to get our bus, i got to walk in this alley type of thing. It's a bike on a hill. So, you know, I'm calling her. I'm calling her. She shuts off her phone, doesn't answer, whatever. I'm like, well, i got to go home. Like, I can't sleep here. This girl doesn't have anywhere I could sleep, you know. Doesn't have a car, doesn't have anything, and she has a kid. I gotta go home. I was like, I'll walk with faith. And I never walk home. I never even go home bus on that time. I'm never hardly even there. So, I'm walking to, um, to the bus. And this dark man pushes me down the hill and rapes me. The whole time I was like, I can't believe this is happening to me. And please don't kill me. Where was my mom? My mom didn't, this was at 7, my mom didn't call until like 12 o'clock at night. 
Like, you waited that long to turn on your phone and call me. My friend hauled ass to pick me up. She borrowed some random person's car and just hauled ass. And did everything. My mom didn't do anything. My mom didn't care. My mom didn't know until the next day. When I told my father through a text. And then she even told. My sister was the first one to find out. And they all bitched at me. Everyone in my family bitched at me. Fucking cursing at me and shit. Like, you don't fucking do that. So my dad calls me and my friend, I'm with the one that, that, that was there when I got raped. Like, after. So I'm there, I put him on speaker, I'm going to put him on speaker, remember McDonald's. And he's yelling at me saying, what the fuck? It's all your fault, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, dad, it's my fault the guy rapes me. Calls my mom. Calls me back. Oh, your mom said that she said she was going to go to the hospital, you know, she was going to take you to do the report. What the fuck of a report of what? I have a detective and everything. If she would have known, she would have known that. Like, are you guys fucking stupid? Okay. It's fine. I call her, why the f- and she, this is on speaker. Why the- and my friends listen. Why the fuck are you telling that? Oh, I knew, blah, 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 bitch, you didn't know shit. Whatever. I catch her telling people that I'm lying and that I was never raped. Okay. You want me to respect you doing this shit to me. No one believes me about anything I do because of her. Because I'm bipolar. Okay. This is why I'm leaving my house. This is why I don't want to live here. I don't feel wanted. I don't feel anything. I wanted to make this because I know there's people that are worse than me. And this is why I'm going to be a better person, and I applaud everyone who has gone from hell to heaven, and I'm going to make a better life for myself. Because this is fucked up. And that's why I'm mentor, because I want someone to, I wish I had someone like me. You know, so, we need to make better people in this world, and we need to make this world a better place so that people don't have to suffer and not only me, I've seen very worse things so people don't suffer for the fucked up shit that happens and family is not blood types, family are those that are for you 24 fucking 7 so I don't give a fuck about what anybody fucking says I love my family but they don't treat me right there's nothing I can do. I can't change her. I can't change anyone. But you know what? I have to leave. I can't deal with them. So I applaud everyone has gone from the fucking far end to to everything they are today. I applaud you. And God bless you. Bye, guys.